Meanwhile, in Florida today, it started out the way it usually does. Tourists gathered for a show at SeaWorld in Orlando. Then, without warning, something went terribly wrong. Kelly Covea tells us that as the horrified audience watched, a killer whale attacked one of the park's most experienced trainers and drowned her. The popular Shamu show at Orlando's SeaWorld hadn't yet begun when the park's largest killer whale, a 12,300-pound male orca named Tilikum, swam toward 40-year-old female trainer Dawn Branshu and, according to one witness, pulled her underwater. She was standing on the rock right above the viewing area. He jumped out, he, like he took off, and then he came back, he jumped off, grabbed her, started thrashing around, and then her shoe fell off. Fell off. And he was, he was thrashing her around pretty good. It was violent. A tourist at an earlier show said the animal seemed agitated. I, just, I, I wish and pray that they hadn't gotten to the pool since the whale was clear that he was upset. And um, you know, just my prayers go to that person's family. SeaWorld closed part of the park and canceled killer whale shows in Orlando and San Diego. We have never in the history of our parks experienced an incident like this. Yet this killer whale reportedly has been involved in another death at SeaWorld. In July of 1999, a man apparently stayed in the park after hours, jumped into the animal's tank and was killed. And in 1991, before being sent to SeaWorld Orlando, Tilikum and two female killer whales drowned a young trainer at a Canadian park called Sealand of the Pacific. Other killer whales have been known to turn on their trainers in 2004 at SeaWorld in San Antonio and in 2006 at SeaWorld in San Diego. The worst of the injuries in those cases was a broken foot. This particular killer whale normally doesn't have swimmers in the tank with it because of its size and strength. It's primarily used for splashing the audience. We were able to reach Dawn Branch, whose mother late this afternoon. She told us that Dawn was one of six children. She loved animals, and she will be missed. Katie? So sad. Kelly Covea in Miami tonight. Kelly, thank you.